Welcome on in, I'm the Fugly and Lonely t Flare, and today we're going to do a quick rundown on how to get free cam in Enshrouded. First, everything I talk about today is going to be in the description down below. While you're down there, don't forget to feed those algorithm gods with your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. We all know they love some food, so let's give it to them. One of the reasons I am doing this video is because I plan to use the free cam for planning out my coming necropolis i don't know if i'm gonna build it here but this is a great way to like take a peek around you before you start planning just to make sure you're not gonna run into anything that you don't want to now let's go the first place we're gonna start is with a good old google search to cheat engine it's pretty simple you just gotta click download cheat engine and once it's download run the install and from there it's really not that bad all right, and once we have Cheat Engine installed and ready to go, we're going to go over to Nexus Mods, and we are going to look up Enshrouded. And as a reminder, I will have links below. Once we get to Enshrouded, we are going to want to download the table. Now, there's a couple of tables here, so again, I will have links below. I'm also going to have a link to my Discord where you can get the table that I used in the opening. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download one of these, show you how to do it, and then show you what it looks like to actually use it. The main difference between using this table that you're going to get from Nexus and downloading the table that is going to be in my Discord is that the one from my Discord will not need to be extracted. However, the mods from Nexus will need to be extracted. All right, so we're just going to go here. We're going to download the file. As you can see, there's the free option if you don't feel like paying a membership of any kind. The download's really not that slow. Okay, so once it's in your chosen folder, you just go ahead and extract it. Alright, extract all. Now, mine's going to overwrite the file I already have. I'm okay with that since it's for the sake of the demonstration. Alright, so now what we need to do is remember where you put this. I personally set up a backup folder for all of my games. That way, sorry, I set up a backup folder for each game individually, and then anything that has to do with that game will end up in that backup folder. Now, in order to get this to work, you need to open Enshrouded, and then you need to open Cheat Engine. The order you open them in doesn't matter too much, but Enshrouded needs to be open before you do this next step which is we are going to click on this magnifying glass and then we are going to select Enshrouded. And then we click on the open folder. We navigate to where we put the file that we downloaded and then we open the extracted file. Get rid of this dialog box and then we get into the game and we start playing. All right, so once we're in the game, we can select the options from Cheat Engine that we want to use. This is a little bit different than the one that I used during the opening of the video. However, this is the best one that I have found on a Nexus, so it is the one I am going to use in the game. As you can see, we just go to Close Camera, which basically pulls your character out of the scene. You just need to decide if you want to fly, which you will not be able to navigate up and down. And then you either need to take the things out of your hands so that you can see like my shield is popping up here. And if you hit exit, you can hide your HUD. Now that's pretty much it. You can navigate around, you can do some cool pictures and all the other things. But like I said, I'm going to leave links in the description as well as a link to my Discord to download the table that I feel is best. Thanks for hanging out today. I'm T4. I'll see you later.